Hey, it's Joe Lines from the Automator, and I just received this security update notification from Zoom if you're using their API, and I thought I'd do a quick video to describe, uh, you know, what it means just in case it matters to you. So let me jump over to the screen here. Let's walk through real quickly what it says in the notification. Um, our continued efforts to improve security, Zoom, blah, 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 authorization flow. We're removing the ability to set access tokens, refresh tokens, and revoke URL from URL query parameters. So if you don't know what that is, when you load a browser, so when I go to the automator, um, and look, if I do a search, let's say, I'll actually say Zoom, notice up in here, here is a query string. This is the query, this is what they're referring to, and S. S usually stands for search equals zoom. So that's the query string parameter that you get passed. Now, the problem is it is very insecure, right? A lot of things can see this traffic and pull it from you and it's it's really risky. So that's why they don't want you putting your, you know, your um, tokens and passwords in that, right? So what they, let's go back to the email now. Um, so now what they do say, is set the token values in the authorization header, not in the query parameters, right? Um, and then basically soon enough, this is going to fail. Um, they give you some good links. I'll try to remember to put um, one of these here in there, but just go read the documentation. But let me show you real quickly here on my code. Um, thankfully, I was already doing this. Yeah, and here is an example. Now, I have mine in a loop. It's in a function, and I keep doing it, right? But this is the, the com object that launches the API call. And here I'm getting, this is how I can very quickly, I can hit a hotkey and get the recipients that are signed up for a certain meeting. It's really cool. So this is where I pass it the meeting ID, the registration, page size. This is building the URL query parameters, right? For everything from this question mark on is part of the query parameters. So notice there, I don't have anything. Oh, I do have the page token there. So I'll need to go back and look at that, right? But my security you know, the, the bearer token, this is where you set it in your request header. So here I have bearer, notice the space, make sure you have a space there, and then you put in your API token, right? So just make sure you make this switch. And I have a lot of videos, I'll put the URL on the screen. So yeah, so this URL over my head, um, that I have a lot of videos on. Actually, I even have a video showing how to get your Zoom token, how to set it up with the something like JSON something, they, they did some something I'd never seen before. It's nice because it makes it much easier if you're only running it on your computer, JSON web token or something like that. So hopefully this helps you. Best of luck. Read their documentation. It's, it's really not that hard, but it's a good thing to be realized with APIs. It is a little bit risky and you got to understand the other option would be to do like a post request and put it in your payload. I don't, you have to read the documentation to see if they support that, but that's another very common thing. And that's how you can definitely lock down your API call to not have your token exposed. Cheers. Hope you're doing well.